Hey guys, we're at the Big Three Media Event in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today I have with me Matt from DRD Tactical. How you doing? How you doing, man? So Matt is here to talk to us about the DRD Tactical Breakdown Rifles. Now, I just had the pleasure of shooting this beast a little while ago at the 800-yard range. This is a 338 Lapua Quick Takedown Rifle. We'll show you a little bit of B-roll of what this rifle looks like being fired, but what we're going to talk about all the rifles here that we see in front of us basically do the same thing, and that is they quickly break down into small packages which you can carry in cases this size. So Matt, if you could, tell us a little bit about these DRD rifles. Well, the big idea behind DRD was to make something accessible, take down in a small package. Uh, you know, a lot of times we storage space with our cars and everything else, it's just too much. So what DRD did is we took your AR-15, uh, and we made it a quick takedown. Simple being is your rifle, your lower, your upper, uh, whether your spare mags, everything fits into the same case. How this works is literally you'll take the handguard straight off to assemble. They put it, we put a gas tube protector on here. So you don't always have to have that on, especially if you got it in the hard case, but if you wanted to put it in something like your book bag. Uh, it'll give you gives you that little more protection uh, but literally all I'm doing is I'm lining up my gas tube and I have a little indention up here so everything is aligned ready to go head spacing everything's done for you right don't need to torque it down hand tight whole idea is to be able to get it out put it together and do it quick so once I hand tighten it down I'm good to go. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is in 5.56, I see the PMAG here, mm -hmm. but you have other calibers available as well, correct? Absolutely. So the nice and convenience about this rifle is as quick as I can take off the barrel and the forearm, I can do the same thing uh, by just adding a 300 blackout barrel to it. So if I want to run 5.56, if I want to run 300 blackout, or even if I want to run a shorter 300 blackout mm -hmm. and a longer barrel 5.56, I can mix it up and do anything that I want. And check this out, guys. There's a complete rifle in here with one barrel, but underneath that, here's another barrel. You guys also other, offer other cutouts as well, mm -hmm. where you can actually carry a handgun in here along with your rifle, we do. correct? So you can have a different, another barrel. You can have, uh, it's configured for a Glock 17 mm -hmm. and six extra mags. Wow. So, when you go out to the range or you're going out hunting or camping or whatever, you can bring two different calibers with you. You have your optics, you have your night vision, you have your pistol and all your mags stored into one small case. And these magazine pouches look about the same size as a suppressor, and I'm big into pig hunting. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, space for me when I'm driving down from Indiana to Georgia to go pig hunting, space is not a commodity. And yep. the fact I can get a complete rifle, suppressor, magazines, everything into a little box like this, Absolutely. that's pretty impressive. So this is the 5.56, five, but in a slightly bigger box, yeah, let's put some of this stuff away here. All right, guys, a true test as to whether or not this is really easy to take apart and put back together again is to let me try it. This is the second time I've ever done it. All right, so let's see what happens. Now, from what Matt tells me, lock the bolt to the rear, grab your upper out, flip the lever, push this pin, which is captive, barrel comes out, almost didn't catch it. Ah, uh, cover. So this is optional. This little cover protects the gas tube. Take that off. Line everything up. Gas tube goes in. Line up that little index. Hand tighten. Slide that back over. Pin. It's pretty simple. Let's take it apart. Lock the bolt to the rear. Have helicopter fly over. Pull that pin, slide that off. All right, unscrew this. Slide that out. Again, I'm not gonna put the optional, uh, actually goes this way. It's almost grunt proof. I'm not gonna put the optional gas tube protector on there. I'm just gonna put it back together. All right, that would go in there. And the bolt, put that forward, 
stick it back in the box. Let's go ahead and strap it down. Say that's pretty simple. So in a little bit bigger box, we have the M762. Same thing. I'm going to be able to configure my rifle. Now this is 7.62, but this is also available in other calibers. This is also available in other calibers. So the nice thing about having a 7.62 is if you want to do that 6.5 Creed, yes. which is a very, very popular round. One or, of my favorites. <laughs> or a lot of guys like the SOCOM round, the 458, uh, yep. but the 45 Raptor is the next big thing coming out. So yep. we can do both of those calibers. So you can change this into three different calibers if you want. Awesome. Keeping them all in the same case. All one optic on one rifle. All you're doing is you're changing your dope on your rifle. So whether you're running the, <coughs> that 308, that's that 6.5, or the 45 Raptor, all you're doing is you're switching the dial and you're good to go. That's really impressive. And again, the case is only slightly bigger. I mean, if you take a look at the two side by side. Yep. Um, and again, I assume in this case you can get an extra barrel kit in there if you want to go Absolutely. 308 and 6.5. You can get them both in this one case. Either way, whether you want to order it directly from the factory with the way you want it set up, or later down the road you say, I want to add this barrel to it, you can order the inserts uh, that will go in your case. Very interesting. So, so let's say the 5.56 five, rifle, what, what would something like this retail for? So retail on it is going to be 2091. 2091. So you're getting wow. the whole case, uh, the magazines, the kit, the takedown gun, all pre-cut for you for 2091. And be honest with us, when, when you take that barrel out and put it back in, take it out and put it back in, are you losing your zero? Losing no zero. No because zero. of where the head spacing is and where it's indented, the barrel goes in the same place every single time. That's really impressive. And so if you're talking about roughly $2,000, I mean, that's kind of the price point of an upper end AR yet mm -hmm. with features that something like, let's say, an LWRC, which actually costs more, mm -hmm. doesn't have. Well, I so. think where a lot of the hidden value is, is a lot of guys buy one optic for each rifle they own mm -hmm. and don't have the ability to change calibers quickly. Or when they do, they have to change a whole upper, which now brings another optic. Right. With this type of system, you're only removing the four ends, so you can leave one optic on your rifle. So you can pay that extra money for right. the rifle, for the optic, and have it all one package and run different calibers. Very interesting. Well, Matt, thank you for taking the time to explain this all Not to us. Problem. It's greatly appreciated. Guys, if you have any questions, you can ask us questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash military arms. Also, please swing by and check out Copper Custom. If you'd like to support the Military Arms channel, it's the best possible way. And if you haven't already, check out full30.com. It's full30.com. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.